Hi Dave, so I made my storyboard in three different parts to make it a little bit easier to see. I decided for my goals for math lessons, I want to focus on making it engaging so that students would ask questions to clarify any misconceptions they have. I also want students to make connections with previous math lessons and anything they've done in previous grades and to other subjects as well. Similarly, I want students to expand on their prior knowledge to be able to make those connections and grow so they connect and can prepare for further and future lessons. I want to make math lessons that invite all students in and that goes along with the schema activation so that all students feel welcome and are engaged and can participate in the lesson and have that background experience to use. Next, I have my vision of assessment, lesson design, and math content. I want to make sure I spend a set amount of time developing a lesson and not work too long on something and make it perfect and that the gray area is important so that students can learn in that and make their own connections and ideas. I want to work smarter, not harder, and that goes along with spending a set amount of time so that I can leave that gray area for the students. I want to use Safari lessons. They've helped me this semester be able to focus in and use that flair and focus to enhance my lessons and make sure I'm assessing the standards and addressing them so that students can benefit the most. I want to continue to use a design thinking approach and that will connect to my 496 work this fall. It's been great to see the way the museum school students have used that and that we can continue to connect that with the Safari framework. framework. I want to be able to anticipate student learning through assessment as we've done with the content competencies and I want to continue to be able to do that and incorporate into my future teaching. I want to be able to intentionally address standards and that goes along with anticipating student thinking and the content competencies. Lastly, this is my vision for engaging students. I want to incorporate manipulatives into my lessons and that can help the play and focus of my Safari framework and it also connects to my work I did in Math 223. I want to make sure that I apply real world connections and that goes along with the design thinking approach and the work we did with the museum school students. I want to make sure that I ask intentional questions to make students more engaged and think more deeply about the math content we're covering. I want to make sure there are time constraints so students don't spend too long making things perfect as we often do as teacher leaders. I want to make sure everything is challenging so that students feel that they can achieve it with support but is also um, a little bit out of reach so that they can improve and grow to that level. Also it's important to make math enjoyable for students and that connects to the math party and a lot of the work we've done this semester in class.